We don't have a few days. We're going to have to convince him to uh, leave now. Well, he's afraid that the wind will die down. We have a way to make wind. So maybe that'll convince him to leave, and it gives him an extra reason to take us with, her, with him. Captain Nebeve? Huh? I got something you want. What? Well, out with it, girl. What is it? Oh, nothing. You do remember our deal, don't you? I. Um, remind me what the deal was again. That if I defeated Roper Clax and brought the wind back, you'd give me a lift to the Isle of Elias. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the day I see a girl like you bring down a powerful alchemist like Clax is the day I hire a woman to be my navigator. Well, look at this. <sighs> hey, it's Crow. By the balance, girl, that's a strong grog you got there. What is it? Tyron spice wine? It's the wind. Watch this. <laughs> Sweet job, that's a strong wind. You got some mighty powerful magic there, girl. And there's more where that came from. Care to share some of it with us? With that magic, we could make good time to Guillen. Pick up a cargo full of apples and be back here before the competition got, uh, wind of what was happening. Sure. If you give me a ride to Elias, as promised. Balance be cursed. Women aboard? When will it ever end? Jowls, bowels. Be here by this afternoon, or we'll sail without you. Yay! As if you'll get far without my wind magic. And you did say something about hiring a female navigator? Damnation! Do you insist on remembering every little thing I say, girl? Don't you know that Jal has forbidden women from riding the waves? Sounds like a bunch of sexist bullshit to me. But it's your choice. I got the wind in my pocket. Now you learn to treat women with a little respect. I've run out of curses, girl. Jal be damned I am in desperate need of a navigator anyhow. All right, all right. You be here by this afternoon with your navigator. It's not as if I ever put much faith in the teachings of the drunken prophet Jal myself. Okay. Well, despite all these claims about a, women, uh, a woman navigator, we don't actually have a navigator. One thing we do still have, however, is a map meant for a person named Tan Lyak, who is apparently uh, waiting at the Journeyman Inn, so let's head over there. Give him this map. Well, there's a person standing there. It's a blue woman, and you know, no big deal. I've seen it all. A blue woman is just run-of-the-mill now. Yeah, compared to uh, defeating an alchemist by using a calcula calculator, blue women, not that uh, strange anymore. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm sorry, young woman, but I do not wish to speak with anyone presently. Well, poppycock. I want to talk to you. Maybe she is uh, this Tan Lyak person. Pardon me for intruding, ma'am, but is your name Tan Lyak? Yes, I am Tan Lyak. I have a delivery for you. Oh, a map of the Northlands. I had almost forgotten I ordered it. Sorry about that. I came by a few days ago, but you weren't here. No, no, I was looking for work. <sighs> Thank you kindly, young woman. I will need this map now, if I am to make it to Khorasan by foot. 
That sounds like it would be a long walk. Why are you going to Coruscant by foot? I can ill afford the cost of passage on a ship bound for the Bay of Fire. And since I do not have a job, nor the prospect of getting one, I have little choice. Are you from Coruscant? No, I am from the Southlands. I have never been to Coruscant. Then why are you going there? Because I am told that in Coruscant, captains allow women to join their crew. Here, in Mercuria, they do not. So I've been told, but you shouldn't have to go somewhere else to get a job. That just isn't fair. Fair or not, it is custom. And custom is a difficult thing to change. Well, couldn't she just wait until a ship from uh, Coruscant came here for some reason and then apply for a job? Or at least apply for a passage? I don't know. Apparently not. Why are you so depressed? Is it that apparent to you? I do beg your pardon. It was not my intent to burden you with my dark mood. It's okay, I don't mind. I'd like to help if I can. I do not think you can. Unless you were the captain of a ship, and you could hire me as your navigator. But you are not, and so you cannot help me. She's a navigator? How convenient! You're a navigator? Yes, and I have a letter to prove it. Do you want me to show it to you? No, I believe you. And you're looking for a job? I have been looking, now, for many moons. But most captains do not want women on their crew. And so I am leaving for Coruscant in the morning. Well, maybe she can work for uh, Captain Nebeve. He did say that uh, he would hire a, w a woman navigator. I got a job for you, if you want it. A job? As a navigator? No, as a janitor. Yeah, on a boat called the White Dragon. We're leaving this afternoon, if you're interested. If you are serious, then yes. I am more than interested. But will the captain allow a woman as his navigator? This one will, trust me. Because if he doesn't, he's not going anywhere. Just pack your stuff and head down to the docks. Talk to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. Tell him I sent you. The name's April Ryan. Thank you, April. I am Tun Lyak. I am most grateful to you. Will you be going with us? Yeah, so I'll see you there. Thank you so much. Okay. We have a navigator. See you later, navigator. And um, with that, we have gotten rid of all the obstacles standing in our way to get uh, passage on the White Dragon. We couldn't ask her for signature for the maps. Actually, we don't have the delivery list anymore. That's the thing we lost in the swamps. We lost the delivery list. So let's uh, head over to the uh, docks, back to the White Dragon, so we can leave. But we'll do that in the next video.